Hi everyone and welcome back to Starbucks Saturday. First of all, like I say in every one take, I am blind and I can't look in the viewfinder and I don't really care what the picture looks like even if I could. So if you can't see my face, sorry not sorry. So we did get through Vlogist. I wasn't sure when I had oral surgery in the middle of it, but I was able to do Vlogist. And so what's next? <laughs> Um, am I going to do videos every day? Am I going to do, what am I going to do? Well, you know, before Vlogist, I did, I like my travel mug, but to tell you the truth, that was kind of easier. <laughs> um, so before blo Vlogist, I did Thursday, Saturday. And I'm thinking I might go back to that. Um, or... I might just do a Starbucks Saturday. Of course, really the, the question is, how long is it going to take me to get another video or two that's not a Starbucks Saturday prepared and made? And, you know, we'll just see what happens, you know. If I get inspired, if I get... You know, if I just decide to do a vlog. So I guess the answer is... I guess the answer to what's next after Vlogist is... At least Starbucks Saturday. That's not going anywhere. Other than that, we'll see. And as far as vlogging is concerned, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell the difference, but I think I'm going to change my vlogging camera. Well, vlogging camera from the perspective of a blind person. This blind vlogger uses MP3 recorders. And I was using a DM620, an Olympus DM620. And I still have the DM620, and I still like it. But I think I'm going to switch to a DM720. Because the 720... The DM720... Thank you, voiceover. The DM720... I should probably do a like a review of the DM720 and talk about all the ways that they differ from the DM620. There's one glaring thing that the DM720 doesn't have that I miss. But the positives of the DM720, like the fact that it only takes one battery instead of two, and the fact that As soon as you stick a battery into it, it knows how to turn on and start talking to me. Which is more than I can say for the 620 or the 420. If you put the, the two batteries at the 620... I say I should probably do a video about all the differences and then I just kind of outline them right here. The two batteries at the 620 and the 420 take... You put the batteries in and you try to turn it on and it doesn't make any noise. It might flash something on the screen, but what did I just say about me? I'm blind. That means I can't see the screen or the viewfinder or the, you know, whatever. So I really kind of need something audible. And I get that in the DM720. And 
And I mean, I mean, I think it it records just as good. So Olympus discontinued their six twenties, and I mean, I was using six twenties for years. It's the one that I really liked the be the best. But I kept this one thing kept happening and caused me to not be able to use it anymore. So I have to get another 620 and another 620. First of all, truly I couldn't afford to keep having that happen. If I would look if I would have looked at money without, if I would have taken my rose colored glasses off and looked at money, I would know that I could not have afforded that. So the problem that always happened with the 620s, it had to do with the battery. Um, the the DM620 might drop and and the a hinge on the battery door would break it was because of the way the battery door was designed it was on the end of the machine and maybe that was loose to begin with because that's how much I don't know. The point is, the DM720's battery design, battery door design is different and better. And I don't expect that to happen with the 720. And that's just one benefit. And all the other benefits that I became aware of as I used the 620 for the past month, month and a half, month, have convinced me that I was going to have to change anyway because the DM620s are probably not going to be possible to find because they have been discontinued. I mean, you might find a refurbished one, but the last refurbished DM620 I got as a third-party sale off of Amazon, I had to return it because I enlisted sighted assistance and we did everything we could think to do we could not get the voice guidance to turn on. And that is a must have for a blind person. So, I was like, well, the only 620 recorders that are gonna be available anymore are refurbished ones that may or may not have voice guidance, then, you know, I would have had to change anyway. And now that I see all the benefits to the 720, I'm happy about that. So <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be able to tell a difference. Excuse me. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell a difference between uh, the DM620 and the DM720 in terms of well, I recorded this vlog on the DM720. How does it sound? Does it, does it sound any different? You know, I don't know if it's going to sound any different, but... I know that that's probably what I'm going to go to. So if I don't record one takes, I'll probably be recording on a DM720. And how often will I record those DM720 generated... Uh, MP3s that I've posted along with a picture on Tunes the Tube. Well, we'll see. <laughs> um, so you can definitely count on Starbucks Saturday. Um, whether I go back to the Thursday Saturday schedule or not, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm certainly not going to do videos every day. Um, and am I going to do Vlogtober 
Well, let's get through September first. <laughs> So on that note, thank you for watching. Please sign the Do Not Demonetize petition if you feel so moved. And I'll see you, if nothing else, I'll see you next week for next Starbucks Saturday. Bye.